Tonight, we continue to follow developing news on a story we first brought you as breaking news on Eyewitness News Live at 5. Former PC basketball star Marvin Barnes is in trouble with the law again. According to our news partners of the Providence Journal, he is accused of trying to have sex with an underage Cranston girl who was in his mentoring program. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in our newsroom now with the developing details. It's definitely not the first time the Providence College star has been in trouble with the law, but this latest allegation is shocking. Marvin Barnes, known best for being a star Providence College basketball player, is in legal trouble once again. According to our news partners at the Providence Journal, Cranston police arrested Barnes for solicitation of a minor. They report Barnes is accused of trying to have sex with a 17-year-old Cranston girl who is in his mentoring program for at-risk youths, the Rebound Foundation. Eyewitness News cameras recorded Barnes as he spoke to kids in the program back in 2003. A wise man learns from others' mistakes. A fool learns from his own. I had to learn from my own mistakes. This latest accusation might mean Barnes has more learning to do. Cranston police say he was arraigned Monday afternoon, but refused to release any more details. Barnes was a star athlete at PC, leading them to a Final Four appearance in 1973. He was picked second overall in the 1974 NBA draft before drugs derailed his professional career. Barnes has been arrested numerous times on drug charges. State police arrested him in 2007 in Johnston when they say he was sitting in his SUV on Route 6 with a bag of cocaine. Barnes, now 59 years old, was originally known for what he did on the court. Now, he may be better known for his time in it. And the Providence Journal reports he's due back in court on March 19th. After his arraignment, he was released on personal recognizance. Neither the police nor the Rebound Foundation have returned our phone calls about questions surrounding this case. And we will continue to push for details. In the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.